There was some unanticipated drama at around 1 am when Graham Swan and his wife seemed to be having a bit of a domestic about whether he'd actually taken out a BT Sport subscription for them. She'd messaged him about this but it turned out that he had. Love you Sarah. Sorry about that, he declared over the airwaves. This was not the only welcome new dimension in those attritional, rather austere, early hours. Matt Smith who has regenerated from football to Ash's anchor, revealed with unflappability and self-assurance what cricket presenting looks like when someone other than sporting royalty gets a go. In the style of the BBC's Mark Chapman, Smith put questions which the greats would perhaps have considered a little beneath each other when gathering around the regal David Gower in a Sky Sports studio. So James Vince needs to dominate now, not Joe Root. Smith suggested a T. And the test legends had to agree, as they clustered, in quintessential BT style, around the main pop-up counter on the GABA outfield. BT Sport took their pop-up counter onto the outfield at the GABA for their Ashes coverage. The likes of Adam Gilchrist could not fill the void left by the likes of Ian Botham on Sky Sports. Jeffrey Boycott has more than 100 hundreds but he was so delighted by the on-field attrition. Michael Vaughn swapped jibes with Ricky Ponting during their stint on commentary duties. Alison Mitchell was designated a much smaller pop-up counter though her style and depth of knowledge made this a substantial stride for sports broadcasting, as she became the first woman to commentate on televised men's test cricket. Only one of the commentary box pairing of Mitchell and Jeffrey Boycott could lay claim to more than 100 hundreds but he was so delighted by the attrition going on that he could not get beyond it. You love a good leave, don't you Jeffrey? Michael Vaughn put to him, after Joe Root had left one. Yes, Boycott replied, wistfully. Mitchell had substantially more to say than this. When she and Alyssa Healy, of the Australia Women's Ashes winning team, flanked Ricky Ponting in the mid-afternoon commentary box, we certainly seemed to be embarking on a journey. Related articles previous. One next. James Vince and Mark Stoneman half-centuries keep England. Kevin Pieterson taunted for dodgy shoes, an Ashes debut for. James Vince will feel like a fool after being run out by. England fans didn't rate him and Aussies didn't recognize. Share this article. Share script DM. Later, bundle, function, if, DM. Rotator, new DM. Rotator, P24, pages ice, 1. Page count, 1.0, active class, active, rotate, false, dollar, number p24. Big share, dot on, click, function, dms. Facebook. Post tof, related. There seemed to be something new at pitch level, too. The stump mics delivered greater clarity and, seemingly, volume when Mitchell Stark went at James Vince. They were far more audible. That advance could make a big difference as the series progresses. But it was hard to forget what had been left behind. One of the rituals of these occasions is Ian Botham, down on his haunches, digging his bureau into a fault line on the track. What we witnessed instead was Adam Gilchrist standing out in the center, trying to coax Boycott into some talk about the surface, as the camera panned up and down a bit. Alison Mitchell depth of knowledge made this a substantial stride for sports broadcasting. How far would your spikes go in on a first morning at the GABA, Jeffrey? Gilchrist politely asked Boycott, displaying a deference unknown to the England side he helped smash in 2001. I hope in the dressing room they're not talking about scoring rates, Boycott replied, not terribly interested in this question. Gone, too was the commentary box third man where we have grown accustomed to any one of Michael Atherton, Nasser Hussain, David Lloyd, Simon Hughes, or Michael Holding highlighting a technical point we'd never thought of, across the course of the past 15 years or so. Anchorman Smith took up the third man's chair in the first hour, looking on rather awkwardly as Vaughn and Swan did their stuff, but then it lay vacant. The inimitable humor of David Bumble Lloyd was replaced by banter, central to which was the question of who would be first to enter the waters of the Gabba pool deck. Vaughn had apparently told Ponting to take his top off and get his speedos on. Hunter, as they call him, is less than keen. 
the inimitable humor of David Bumble Lloyd was replaced by the BT Sports team banter. Of those gravitating from radio, only Mitchell seemed to grasp the notion that less is more, when it comes to TV commentary talk. Moeen Ali would win the facial hair competition in the England dressing room, Swan told us. Nathan Lyon's hand is frequently raised after a delivery as if to say, Someone love me. Someone touch me, he said. Yes. Less is more. You knew that Sky would have illustrated the perennial discussion about the uncommonly invariable bounce by digging out clips from previous first days of a GABA Ashes test. And that Alastair Cook's departure would have elicited clips of him similarly waving his bat a foot in front of his pads, like a wand. It took some time before the flaw behind his dismissal was actually highlighted at all, by boycott. These are early days, of course, for the new broadcaster. But what the first of them provided above all was a reminder of the extraordinary standards Sky Sports have set in cricket broadcasting down these years. And how, in Atherton and Hussain, it has provided two of the outstanding sports broadcasters of our time. The wise insights of both Hussain and Lloyd on these pages reveal just how unenviable a challenge the new incumbents face. It was hard not to grieve a little when Lloyd, asked on Twitter earlier this week whether he would be tuning into this series, replied, with that funny taciturnity which so endears him to us, wireless for me. What a loss. Related articles previous. One next. James Vince and Mark Stoneman half centuries keep England. Kevin Pieterson taunted for dodgy shoes, an Ashes debut for. James Vince will feel like a fool after being run out by. England fans didn't rate him and Aussies didn't recognize. Share this article. Share script dm. Later, bundle, function, if, dm. Rotator, new dm. Rotator, p38, pages ice, 1, page count, 1.0, active class, active, rotate, false, dollar, number p38. Big share, dot on, click, function, dms. Facebook. Post top, related.